breaking news as of yesterday, Tom Dumoulin is returning to professional cycling at the highest level. This is from Raymond Kerkhoffs in Vila Flitz, was the original uh, source breaking this news. And it seems to me that his main goal is the Olympic time trial in Tokyo. And then he'll also probably be riding in, well, automatically, if he's doing the time trial, he'll be riding in the road race as well in Tokyo. He is, however, doing the Tour de Suisse in the lead up to that on Sunday, June 6th. So that's in under a month, as well as the Dutch National Championships in the time trial and road race on June 16th and 20th. So he'd probably be the favorite for the Dutch time trial championships, actually. Um, just reading through the article, apparently Dumoulin was also vaccinated amongst the other, uh, was on the vaccination list to go to Tokyo for the other Dutch ath- athletes in the last week of April. So perhaps that was a tell that this was to come, yeah. as well as him being spotted training all the time, especially on the TT bike. Are you surprised, Benji, that he's back this soon? I'm not surprised, but I'm happy that he is. I think that I wasn't necessarily every morning thinking that he would announce it, but I thought that it wasn't going to take too long. I think that Dumoulin is a rider that seems to want to have taken a boss here for a bit. And the last couple of weeks, we saw images of him riding his bike, like you mentioned, of him at the start of Amstel there, and he just looked way more relaxed. And I just had that feeling from it, at least. And because of that, I, I was hoping not necessarily expecting, but hoping that it wouldn't take too long. And it luckily doesn't seem to have taken too long. Uh, the calendar that he's supposed to be doing is indeed to the Swiss, then the uh, Dutch and Seas, and the Olympics afterwards, the time trial of the Olympics, if I recall correctly only. But um, I'm happy. I think that at this point, Willer Flitz, that Ray Kerkhoff's guy, he has to have like a tent camped out on the bus of Jumbo <laughs> because he seems to know everything that happens at Jumbo an hour hey. before it's announced. <laughs> He's the official <laughs> spokesperson. <laughs> we'll, we'll never get we'll never get Yumba Visma inside scoops. I don't think Benji. <laughs> we're uh, we're way too critical all the time. Yeah, no, we don't try. We we just anyway. I'm, I'm happy Dumoulin's back. He's taken the time out of a. It seems to me. Tokyo, just reading into it, if I'm trying to guess what he's thinking, Tokyo and gold for the Netherlands seems to be the prime motivator, then Swiss is the warm-up for that. Um, I don't know how we'll go at Tour de Suisse. He'll presumably just be getting some race days in the legs and finding form. I must admit, I think we said at the start of the year when this was announced, because remember they announced their Tour de France team with Dumoulin in it. Two days later, he announced that he was taking a break from cycling. So that was really weird at the start of the year. But we said he's not going to be doing the tour because they need to plan that team beforehand. A couple of weeks ago, they announced Vingegaard justifiably bang into that team. Um, He's one of their most important riders for the tour. They're not changing the Tour de France team. I'd be incredibly surprised if they did. I don't think they will be. They've set that team now, and they're all on training camps together, etc. Dumoulin seems to be on a go to Swiss. It's a lower-profile race before the tour. I don't think Roglic or no, Roglic and co. won't be there. Uh, there's space in the team for him to go and he can go as well as he wants. And then the Olympics will be good for him, I think, because the TT is saying he's – I don't know what the parkour is like, Benji, but it should suit him if it's got a few climbs in it. Um, I don't know. He just looks so good in the TT, Benji. At Planche de Belfi, he came second or third in the TT, at the same time as Port, I think, after Tane Pogacar mm-hmm. uh, on the podium of that TT. So it's still really good. How do you think he'll go in Tokyo? Do you think he's a medal candidate in the time trial? It's impossible to know where his, uh, where his form is. I hope that it's relatively high because this parkour does very much suit him. It's got hills in it. It's pretty rolly terrain. And on that terrain, on paper, he's one of the favorites. And if he doesn't have a Tour de France in his legs, then perhaps he's fresher. But we've seen last year that having a Tour de France in your legs might mean that the next week afterward, you're you're godlike as well in LBL and so forth. Because last year, that, last year it was a, a pretty hefty schedule after Tour de France. But um, when it comes to the parkour, I just think that it certainly fits him. It certainly fits a few other people as well. If we look at how Avonipol is doing at the Giro right now. and Olympics ITT is apparently his biggest goal. So if he's leaning towards this, then, uh, well, I'm looking forward to seeing that as well. But I'm glad to see Dumoulin 
back racing. I think that Tour de Suisse is a good race to do so. Yeah. Because I don't think he's going to be expecting to be up there in GC the first uh the first week that he comes back. But it would be nice if we see some uh some potential to getting into a good form for that Olympics. Because we yeah. can ask ourselves now, well, is he gonna do good at the Olympics? But nobody really knows. We don't know where his form is and we don't know what to expect. Yep. Happy to see him back. Uh, a little bit surprised he's back this early, but um, I'm glad he's just found that love for cycling again. Maybe we'll see. Who knows what his career will hold? Maybe he wants to focus on TTs, Benji, or stage hunting, or something completely different. Uh, after he's decided, you know, maybe being a GC guy, we just saw with Landy yesterday. I know sprinters have a tough time. It's win or bust. You know, you make one mistake in the final, but unless you crash, you can just line up again tomorrow. GC guys, you can train at altitude three times in the three months beforehand. A lot of sacrifices, your family, your time, your health, getting a very low weight. And one crash like that, when you're looking good, gone out of the Giro with Lando. So that must be mentally very taxing. I'm not saying that's why I do my stepped away. I'm just saying maybe he wants to focus on other things other than GC. I hope not, because I thought he was a good chance for the Tour de France podium this year. Not that he'll be doing it, but he still should be able to compete at that top, top level next year if he wants to. That's all from Dumoulin, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.